and I'm Ted Daly, and welcome to Port Charles Today, where we are very pleased to have two very special guests. Robert Scorpio, Port Charles Police Commissioner, and our guest of several days ago, and Mr. Luke Spencer, presently proprietor of Luke's Place, the Waterfront Casino, and a candidate for mayor of Port Charles. Any comments at this point, Mr. Spencer, on your opponent? He's a fine man and a friend of mine, and if I weren't voting for myself, I certainly would vote for him. I understand a major issue in this campaign is gambling. Well, that's what they tell me. During Commissioner Scorpio's last visit to our show, he talked about the danger of a criminal element attaching itself to your enterprise. My campaign? Your casino. Ah. Well, I'm sorry. I must have missed that show. You no doubt heard about it, though. Yes, I did hear about it. <laughs> Apparently, Mr. Scorpio got right up there on his soapbox. As for this mythical criminal element that he says that I'm bringing into this city, I... I must say, it doesn't exist. You're denying, then, that your casino was raided for drugs. Oh, it was raided. That is correct. It was raided. The reason, you would have to ask Mr. Scorpio. Mr. Scorpio. Look, I'm not making any accusations here. All I'm saying is that uh, a casino, uh, such as Luke's place, has the potential to attract a criminal element. Getting back to the drug... Well, raid. look. Now, a man was arrested for possession of drugs. An investigation had to be maintained, so uh, we found in the best interests of the public to close the place for several days. An investigation which, since Mr. Scorpio isn't going to add, I certainly am going to add, found no other trace of drugs or any illicit activity. Still, an investigation had to be made. Is that right? And for what reason? You need evidence for that kind of behavior. Exactly, uh... What was your evidence? Drugs were found on the premises. You planted those drugs and the whole town knows it. Look, I thought there wasn't going to be any mud slinging here. I'm just clearing up a few facts. <clears throat> As for this raid and the subsequent investigation, it was nothing more than personal harassment to me and to my business. That isn't true. There is a lot of evidence to the contrary. As for a reason for this harassment, Mr. Spencer, do you have any? Surely you have some theories. I think you should ask Robert. I'm asking you, Mr. Spencer. Do you believe this alleged harassment has something to do with the commissioner's wife? And now, Alex? wait, wait a minute her? here. I think it's a fair question. Well, I don't. Robert's right. There's no reason to bring her into this. Not even if it's relevant to your rivalry? After all, Mr. Spencer, you did have a rather widely publicized relationship with Mrs. Scorpio. Listen, I told you that she had nothing to do with this. You were all friends, though, right? You, the commissioner, Holly. It's common knowledge you had plans to marry Mrs. Scorpio before you disappeared. Mr. Daly, that was a long time ago. Still, isn't it possible that the problems between Mr. Scorpio and yourself have less to do with political differences and more to do with the jealousy that would emanate from a love <clears throat> triangle such as this? That, sir, is preposterous. Mr. Scorpio. On that issue, Mr. Spencer and I are in complete agreement. Perhaps I should invite Mrs. Scorpio to visit our show. You could always ask. I may have to if you gentlemen continue to evade the question. I don't even know how we got onto this subject. It's very simple, Mr. Spencer. You've accused the commissioner here of harassment. I'm simply looking for a motivation for that harassment. And I'm telling you, Mr. Daly, you're barking up the wrong fire hydrant. The man was arrested for possession of drugs on the premises. And no one else was saying that drugs it doesn't answer the question. Right. Was made. Nothing was turned up. Well, you listen to that, that we try to cover it up. Including this one, that you believe that search, that investigation, was for something else. If not drugs, what? Well, I don't know. Look, we've been over this question many times, and I see no reason to continue harping on it. The reputation of my campaign and my establishment is at stake. I want the air cleared. Nothing illegal is occurring or has occurred in that casino. My operation is clean. I have the best employees. We serve the best food, the best liquor. All you game. tell him, Luke. Mr. Scorpio knows <laughs> it. Mr. Daly, now you know it, I know it, and you know it. All right, then, let's discuss the upcoming campaign and the opposing sides the two of you represent. Up. Mr. Scorpio, you've made it quite clear you're supporting Lee Baldwin. That's correct. You support his stand on the issues? You like his platform? Or is it a case of personalities? A combination of all three. Now ask him why he's so down on my campaign. Well, we'll have to wait to get the answer to that question and others right after this. Uh, they always step back. We're just about out of time, but I do have one final question for our distinguished guests. Robert, Luke, you were once the best of friends, as close as two people can ever be. And now you
now you're bitter rivals, all because of a woman. Or is it something else? Well, I guess you could say, Ted, that uh, all things must pass. Luke? For whatever reason, uh, things like that can happen in a friendship, and I suppose Robert and I are proof that nothing lasts forever. This doesn't bring you any sadness? Either of you? Yes. Well, that concludes another edition of Port Charles Today. We hope you enjoyed our guests. I'd like to thank them for being with us. We'll be back again tomorrow night with the Reverend Samuel Heck, a controversial faith healer. Until then, good night. We're off. Hold my place, okay? Hello? Holly, it's Jackie. Any statement for the press? I think you know better than to ask that. Oh, don't tell me you missed the show. I saw it. And you have no reaction. I, I mean, I don't understand. I mean, your husband and your ex-lover lock horns in front of the citywide audience. I mean, your name comes up as a possible reason for rivalry. And you have nothing to say? Come on, Holly. You, you must have some opinion of what's transpired. Just one. I'll take anything you got. Great. Take this. they'd bring up the gambling issue and the raid. But all of those personal questions. That's what he said about Holly. I wasn't quite ready for him. Well, I've got to tell you, I didn't realize this was this kind of a show, and I'm surprised. Well, I'm not. I'll tell you, I've never seen a campaign there where there wasn't a little mudslinging. That's what sells the news, and that's what gets votes. Not in my campaign, Scotty. Yeah, well, fortunately, you don't have to do it because it can be done very, very subtly. No, Scotty, now I'm warning you. This campaign is not going to be like that. On this point, I have to agree with Lee. I want to stop Luke, too, but there's got to be a legitimate way to do it. All right, fine. If you two change your mind, I'll be around. I don't, I don't see why not. You have the perfect opportunity to put him in his place. Your standings in the polls will go up, and so would the ratings. Not necessarily. Look, can we just please get out of here? Tiffany's bringing the car around, but until she does, I want you to hear me out. If you're just going to talk about throwing around political personal smears, forget it, Jackie. Come on, people love that kind of stuff. Why do you think those tabloids in the supermarkets are such hot sellers? This is a political campaign. Yes, one rung above mud wrestling. I don't give a damn. Lee and I made an agreement. We're not going to do that. We're not going to use that, that personal stuff. We're going to deal with the issues in this campaign. Still, you said you wanted to get some press. You were just complaining you weren't getting enough. If you are talking about that kind of press, I don't want it. I don't want the, some political debate turned into a, a mudslinging contest. And besides that, I don't want my life trivialized by using the past as political points. I think you're making a mistake. Well, it's my mistake to make. Now, I've got to get out of here. That's true. Just hold these me. Home to the benefit of well, the I'll, of course, right there. That's your job. That's the